Today I want to show you how to use the advanced layouts feature on Substack. One of the primary criticisms that Substack has or has had over the years is that there's not a lot of ways to customize your website. And that criticism, there's been a lot of fairness to it. But Substack actually has a feature now that allows you to do quite a bit more customization of your Substack than you've been able to do in the past. And I want to show you how to do that. You come over here to your toolbar. It may, if you're still in the old version, it'll be across the top of the screen. Uh, but now in the new version, you come down here and you click on branding. Once we click on branding, we're going to click where it says home page, and you're going to click that drop down arrow. This is where we go in to edit what our site looks like. And here under home page, you'll see intro, you'll see body, and then you'll see advanced layouts. And you want to toggle that button. And then what you can do is at this point, you start adding various content blocks. So for example, let's add, say, under all of this, the next, this is your first content block, your intro. This is content block one. Let's say under all this, I want to add a call to subscribe. And so there's a subscribe button. And I can change what it says, a message for non-subscribers. I can say, please subscribe if I want you know, whatever. But then also a message for free subscribers. Thanks for subscribing they so someone who is currently subscribed for free to my substack they won't see please subscribe they will see thanks for subscribing and then a message for paid subscriber you can do that as well and so that all right let's say i've got that block now i want to add something below it let's say i want to add a let's go with a grid next and I want to run a grid of, let's say, instead of recent post, I want to show a certain tag. So this is one of the benefits of using tags in Substack. Now, your tags can set up a section for you when you're doing this advanced layout. Let's say that I want to use the tag, uh, what does the Bible say for my site? And so I have, here's the intro section. Here's my subscribe section. Now here's what does the Bible say section. And maybe I don't like it in two rows. You know what? I want it in three rows. And so, and then it's like, well, that doesn't complete the third row. So let's actually just make it one row. So I can do that. I can also over here say in the right column, I can add another subscribe button. I can add my list of recommendations or Here's what that looks like. So it would look like that. There's the people I recommend to my readers. And so, all right, now I want to add another block. And let's choose a feature. And so there, this is kind of what my, what my intro, the top post, looked like, the top section. Say so I want to change that. This is, let's change it from recent post to sections. Let's change it to all of the guest posts I have. So here's all the guest posts, a section about that. I can change that. I can easily, you can remove that by just clicking here. Say, you know what? I don't actually want that. Let's take it out. So if I wanted to, this is what, and then I could just say, you know what? I want one more. Let's do a list at the very bottom. And this list will be all recent posts. That's all I want. I want recent posts. I don't want to show six, though. I want to show five. And then in the left column, let's add uh, one more. Let's add one more subscribe button. Actually, I want my list of links here on the left-hand side. So then you could see that. So if I wanted to, I have now pretty much edited. And then let's say I don't like the header style. Let's say instead of a feature, I want it to be a media feature. So now I have now I, I have edited the way that my Substack looks, at least using the tools Substack gives me. I've edited the way it looks. There's, you know, this is a very unique setup.
Now, it may not be exactly what you want, but this is what Substack gives you the ability to do. So I'm going to cancel that because that's not what I want it to look like. But that's how easy it is to use the advanced layout feature under homepage in your branding section. Hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more videos about uh, these tutorials walking you through on the screen how to do something in Substack. And if that's helpful to you, I hope you'll subscribe. And I appreciate it, and I hope you have a good day.